right? Trying to get lost in Joshua Tree. Getting pretty close. <laughs> um, but some thoughts came up this week during Zooms, and there's something I want to share with the main page here. Um, because how I approach injuries and how I guide people to put themselves in positions to heal and adapt to anything. When you explain everything and you break it down and you just acknowledge the truths that are here, you put together like, wow, so I can do this. Yeah, you're doing it all the time. Now actually help facilitate it in the direction you want to go. And when these people realize this, when anybody realizes this, it's a pretty, pretty powerful moment <clears throat> because it's at that time that they can alter the course of their life to an incline that you can't imagine the steepness of it and it's sustainable. Not this, we can trick the body out for a period of time and you do real well in your 20s and 30s and then you start to drift off and you're like, no, this is in actual truth, everything that's here you have access to, and you can do this. You just have to modify change and input. Um, and so even those who, uh, where I've said before, for every passive treatment you do that gets in the way of a healing response, because every symptom you have, every single sensation is a healing adaptive response, every single one, even if it doesn't make sense, even if it's been labeled fucking dysfunction, disease, sickness, injury, whatever it is, it's still a healing response. Uh, regardless of what the test shows. The test is just showing a healing response and an adapt adaptation response. So a lot of people, including me, will be like, well, shit, you know, I didn't know any of this until I stumbled across you or I stumbled across Cassie or I met you or I met Cassie or whatever it was. I've done a lot of things to uh, get in the way of my body healing itself, reducing symptoms, feeling better. I've participated in many treatments. I've done... I've gotten many surgeries. I've, I've been to all these specialists and all these practitioners doing everything, like all the new stuff and all the supplements and all the things, gadgets. So I gotta be so far gone, it's not, and that's okay. No matter at what point you start, you can attempt because everything you denied or closed off when the body was trying to go through it, just like when in my story on my uh, subscription page about my hands burning off, the skin burning off my hands and what exactly it was and what exactly I did and exactly what I didn't do. If I would have done something to make those feel better or quiet them down or salve them or supplement them or do all this shit, at some point down the road, I'm going to have to go through everything I'm supposed to go through at that point there that my body deemed necessary. And it knows more than me and it knows my future. Only next time down the road, it might not show up as hands burning, the skin burning off my hands. It might show up with something else. And now I'm like all confused and, oh, geez, now I'm sick in this region. Now I'm diseased in this region. Now I have a growth in this region. Now it's, no, you're just going through what you were supposed to. Holy shit. Thought there was an animal. It's okay. Oh man. I want to talk about a nervous system response. Think your life can't change in one second? Think your physiology can't change in one second? Right now, if you measured me, took my labs, measured everything, I'd be pathological out the fucking ass. I'd be the sickest, most disturbed, sympathetic, ramped up, all this, like, oh my God, hormone problem, adrenal, this, that, kidneys. I'd have immune problems, but nobody would take into context that I thought I just saw a fucking animal on the ground, but it was just a rock. <laughs> Cassie's done that before. You're sitting in a scary movie. Your physiology is responding perfectly. Everyone's going to measure only your physiology and your labs and your imaging and treat that. Not ask, are you in a scary movie by any chance? Something to think about. Anyway. If I don't go through my hands, skin of my hands burning off and it shows up as something else next time, I'm going to have to come to terms with everything I did with everything we're talking about on our pages. You're going to have to come to terms with it at some point. It's not this balance of blending all these different theories and all these different philosophies and all these different pages. There isn't any of that. It doesn't work. Unless somebody's absolutely word for word, practical for practical, in their life, in their life, doing what we're doing, saying what we're saying, it doesn't match. So at some point, you're going to have to go through it. 
that's okay. So even if it was 34 years ago that you quieted something down or you got a surgery instead or you tricked it out or you did all these supplements or you did all these treatments, it doesn't matter. At some point, you're going to have to go through what you were supposed to go through then and don't, don't worry about what it shows up as because it doesn't matter. When you get yourself into a position to truly heal with true medicine, it doesn't matter what the thing is that you were going through. It doesn't matter what the thing is that you, they called it. And the cool part is you can realize this at 99 years old and change it all and the body will be like, fuck, yes, let's go. And you will see the exact same response that happened at one second old at 99 years old. So all this like declining with age and all this, no. And I'm not talking about fucking mindset and you 90, 80, 70 year olds being like, well, I'm not going to age because I don't believe, I believe I'm 35. No, I'm not talking about attitude and mindset. What else are you doing? Not talking about what age you think you are or what you think because your body's fucking not lying. And it's like, stop talking and help us. So again, that's the reality of what I'm talking about here. Beauty part is at any point in time, you make this realization, you change all of it and you dump all of it. And I mean fucking all of it. It doesn't matter what stage of the game. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter what you did to get here. It doesn't matter how you sold out. It doesn't matter how you tricked out the body and and weren't congruent with what's truly here. And it doesn't matter. The body's always ready, waiting and, and willing. And that's why it's Proof is you feeling the way you feel. Every sensation is a healing response. We already covered that. So the fact that you're even here still feeling, yeah, it's just fucking waiting. At 109, at 139, at 89, at 79, at 39, it doesn't matter at any point in time. Whatever's gotten you to this point, got to admit what you didn't, (laughs) what you, (laughs) what doesn't work, and you got to leave it all and leave it all. And when you realize this truth, I feel like I'm being watched. When you realize this and then take massive action on it, then you can sit and stare at the skin on your back of your hands burning off without an ounce of, I know what I need to do. Let's do this. No salves, no fucking supplements, no doctor visit, none of this bullshit. No. And that can be in the form of anything in any system of the body. Any version of an injury. Want to see what scared me? It was that thing. (laughs) Carry on. Have a good weekend. I'm going to go get lost. Exhausted and lost.